Okay, so the past few days I've been working on trying to get a transmitter running that doesn't doesn't send um, a tone but sends voice. And I did a little research, and this is the circuit I came up with. This is the oscillator. Twenty turns, fifty turns. There's a 350 picofarad adjustment capacitor. There's a 250 picofarad capacitor from here to the grid. And I didn't draw it in, but there's also a 1 mega ohm resistor from right here to right here. And the output of this goes through a capacitor and then into the, one of the grids of the power tube. Um, and so this basically all this would do right now if it was turned on was send out the carrier wave which is what this generates and that would if it was a a loud radio station when that turns on hopefully it will make the radio station turn quiet and what this does here is this is a transformer it's connected to that grid two and ground and when audio goes in that it adds and subtracts the power from this that's going into there so it modulates that frequency and then uh, I don't know that's what comes out this is the RF choke I'm still working on that uh, I'm kind of new to this stuff, but this is where I came up with. This is the, uh, maybe I should start here, this is the oscillator. There's a tiny tube, there's the coil, variable capacitor, here's the power section, here's the main tube, uh, transformer, and I'm I'm not I don't I'm not sure about the RF choke. That's one. It's in series with this. And there's the capacitor and antenna. And uh, when I first fired this up, I found out that this was way more high frequency than I thought. Uh, when I first turned it on, I think it was doing it at a couple megahertz but my radio can't go above 1700 kilohertz so I add a, a hundred picofarad capacitor to that and now I think it can work I hope it's gonna work oh and here's the power supply there's 120 volts for this and 300 volts for this just turn this on. Now, when I turn this on, the buzzing should go away on that radio. There we go. But here's also another thing that if I disconnect the power from the main tube, it still, this thing still puts out enough power to sort of block out the radio. But when I connect this... That happens. So I'm going to try to play some music into this and see what happens.
But here's the weird thing. This tube is actually powerful to transmit on its own. The audio is much weaker, but it can still do it on its own. And that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna try to improve this in the next few days. And thank you for watching. Please comment if you can help me with this. And goodbye.